What's your name? Kara Iker. Kara Iker. Are you videotaping me? No. <laughs> Have you always wanted to run an ice cream place, or? I wanted to um, buy the original ice cream depot when it went up for sale when Reinhardt's retired, um, but I wasn't really in a point in my life to make that financial mm -hmm. kind of jump at that time. And then when the other one closed up, we weren't really ready to just take that one over, so we kind of took a year to, well, we didn't. I guess think about it that long, but it took a little bit of time to figure out what we were going to do, and we really wanted to put a drive-through in, but we couldn't find any property to make that happen. So the storefront was kind of Plan B. This is a very nice Plan B. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Our ice cream is made out of one machine, one flavor at a time, so it's literally like a week old. It comes to us about one to two days after it's made, so it's about as fresh as you can get without it coming, you know, straight out of our um, back room. open for business every day. We'll be open for lunch. Uh, we'll open up about 11 in the morning. So we'll be open for lunch every day. Well, it's just there's, there's not a lot for kids to do around here. And I was driving past one day and kind of heard the story that it was closed down and was uh, possibly going to be turned into a warehouse like the one in Polding. The same owner had bought it. And, and uh, I contacted him and said, hey, if, you know, if, if everything's still operational and you haven't done anything to it, then, then I want to buy it and open it back up for, for the community. We, uh, yep, leagues uh, generally start around September, so we'll have a sign-up sheet here for, for anybody who's interested between now and then. They can um, Google our phone number and give us a call and we can put their name down. Kind of a coincidence almost that <laughs> everybody's opening here at the same time yeah. and then the ice cream place is really done yeah. well so far. Yeah. Um, well, they so. call it the diamond in Northwest Ohio, so. <laughs> Do you think that helps everybody with that? that oh, yeah, everybody's absolutely. Everybody's opening in, in those Yep, and it's been a lot effects. of it's been, you know, word of mouth where, you know, we've, we've met some of the owners of the other businesses, and, and it's it's been good to, you know, let them know, you know, hey, if, if you know, if somebody comes in here, you know, and, and they eat lunch or, or dinner, you know, we can say, well, hey, if you guys want a treat, you know, KB Scoops is right down the way, mm -hmm. so. Um, the one in the back, my mom and my aunt and myself own that, and then one in the front is Eric Gillespie, and he um, he was here first and just opened up in the evenings, and then we were, when we were looking for a building, um, then we were suggested to contact him, and so it worked out well to share the space. And Junk um, mainly focuses on refinishing antique furniture to make it new again, and then we have a lot of farmhousey decorative items too. So those are new products that we order and bring in. And then we also have just a lot of um, just antique little pieces too. And then Barnwood Creations, um, he salvages um, wood from old barns and actually makes different items with that, so different furniture. And he takes custom orders and stuff like that too, so. This is a piece that I'm custom painting for somebody that's hasn't been started yet, but I just got the paint. So I actually got the paint from uh, the flower shop of town. She's now carrying chalk paint. I just found that out, so I was really excited <laughs> that we could all work together. Color, how you, how you put it? Um, with some pieces, people have specific preferences. They've got you know a color scheme that they're going for. Um, really, it's just how I'm feeling that day. What color I want. I love like fresh whites and bright not bright blues but just like fresh blues and so I lean towards that way and that, those are just kind of in right now um, but it's just kind of how I'm feeling that day so I bought a little red paint I thought some sometime I'm gonna feel like painting red so we'll see. And, and who's your your mom and your aunt um, my mom is Jennifer Ramsire and my aunt is Suzanne Hollibaugh 
So, and they grew, they didn't grow up anymore, but they um, spent their high school years here, so they're part of the community too, so. It's been going well. We've had a lot of traffic, and especially since the ice cream shop opened next door, that's been really good for us, because people carry their ice cream in. And <laughs>